Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So, uh, today's story time kind of reminds me of the old days on this channel, where I used to tell, you know, embarrassing story times all the time, and just embarrass the hell out of myself, and talk about some things that give people secondhand embarrassment. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this story time. If you do, please leave a like on the video, and let's get into what today's story time is about. So today's story time all takes place back in 2016, the very end of 2016 to be specific. I was hanging out with my girlfriend. It was her birthday. Her birthday was in November. Mine was in October. We'd actually both just turned 18. And I was just hanging out with her celebrating her birthday, right? And we were both finally like legal adults, which was cool. We felt like a newfound freedom, right? Like we didn't have to worry about our parents telling us when to come home if we were out together. We didn't have to worry about any of that shit. And when I say our parents, I more mean her parents because my parents kind of stopped caring about what I did and like my curfew and shit when I was like 17. Like they pretty much let me become a full-blown adult at 17. To be fair, they didn't really have a choice because... I just didn't really let them have one. I kind of just did the opposite of anything they would tell me to do and not listen to them because I was a shithead little teenager. So, like, don't be like me back then. But, you know, that's just how it happened, right? So, anyway, she turns 18. I'm hanging out with her on her birthday. We were hanging out at her house for a little bit, just hanging out with her parents, talking to them, celebrating her birthday. And then we had plans to go to a really nice restaurant, just me and her, at about 8 o'clock. And 8 o'clock rolled around. We went to the restaurant. We're sitting there, we have our dinner, nothing out of the ordinary there, good date, right? Come back to her house after the dinner was over. At this point, it was about 10.30. We get into her house, we walk in, both her parents are upstairs asleep. Now, her parents had a pretty strict rule about her and her dating, and just her life in general. They basically told her, after they're asleep, no friends or boyfriend in the house, right? They can drop you off, say goodbye, that's it. So, I drop her off, we go inside, I kiss her goodbye, and I turn around to leave, right? And she goes, no, no, like, don't leave yet. Like, it's my birthday. I want to hang out with you just, like, for 30 more minutes. I'm like, yeah, but, like, your parents, they'll get mad at me if they know I'm hanging out here too long. She's like, fuck my parents. We're literally both adults. Like, they can't force us to do anything. I was like, yeah, I know, but, like, you live here, and I don't want to get you in trouble because, like, you live here still. And she's like, yeah, I get it. 30 more minutes, okay? They won't even wake up. I'm like, okay, fine. So we go down to the basement, right? She had a nice finished basement that you can hang out in. That way, we were, like, two floors below them. They couldn't hear us talking or, like, laughing or anything. Because that was pretty much her only choice. We either go to the basement or we go to her room. And her room is right next to the parents' room. So we went to the basement. And we get down to the basement. And we're down there watching TV for like 20 minutes just talking and hanging out. And she's like, hey, I'm really thirsty. Can you go grab me a drink out of the fridge? The fridge was up in the kitchen. So I go back upstairs. I open the fridge. I grab some juice out of the fridge. It was this grape juice. I grabbed it. I poured two glasses because your boy was thirsty too. And I start going down the stairs with this grape juice. Now, um... My dumbass wasn't really looking where I was going down the stairs, and I missed a step, and uh, I fell down the last four stairs. It wasn't like a serious fall, but I fell and dropped the grape juice all over myself and her carpet. I felt terrible. Now, she immediately runs upstairs, grabs like some cleaning supplies, comes downstairs, cleans off the rug, cleans off my clothes the best she can, but unfortunately, my shirt was white, so it was pretty stained, and... Uh, even though my shirt was like kind of cleaned up, it got on my skin, like the grape juice. So I was all sticky and gross feeling. So I was like, okay, you know what? That's my cue to go home. I'm going to go home and take a shower. Because like I had grape juice in places where grape juice should not be. Like it was all over my neck. It was a little bit on my face, on my chest. It was just everywhere, man. I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to do this. So I say to her, I'm like, okay, I think that's my cue to go. I'm going to go take a shower. She goes, hey, like, no, no, just stay like 45 more minutes. I was like, 45 more minutes? It's already been 30. She goes, I know, but like, I'm having fun. It's my birthday. She keeps pulling the birthday card, right? Making me feel bad. So I'm like, okay, fine. 45 more minutes. But like, after that, I have to go. So I sit on the couch with her for like 20 more minutes. I'm just sticky and I feel gross. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I have to go home and shower. I'm sorry. And I stand up to go get my shoes on and get ready to leave. And she goes, hey, why don't you just shower here quickly? That way you don't have to do it when you're home. Like, use ours. Then you can go home and just go straight to bed. I was like, okay, um, do you have any like clothes I can change into? Because my shirt's soaked in grape juice and cleaning chemicals. And she's like, yeah, I have an oversized shirt you can wear. So she runs upstairs and finds this like oversized vintage shirt she owned that would fit me. She comes back downstairs. That was all I needed because my pants were pretty much okay. Like they didn't really get spilled on much. And uh, I was good to take a shower, right? Now I was under the impression that I was going to use her bathroom by myself and just go take a quick shower. So I go in there. I lock the door. And I start getting undressed to take a shower, right? 
Now, she had a bathroom in her basement. I don't know if I already said that already, but she had like a really nice bathroom in the basement. Her whole basement was like a finished apartment, essentially. Like someone used to live down there. Now they didn't. So it was pretty much just free use, right? So I didn't have any worries about her parents coming down or anything because, like I said, we were two floors below them. You really couldn't hear anything from the top floor of the house from the basement. Like it was very much like not going to be a problem, right? So I get in the shower. I'm taking a real quick shower. I'm about two minutes in. And all of a sudden, I hear the door open. And I'm freaking out, right? I think her parents just came in or something. And I look to my right through the glass, and it's my girlfriend. And I'm like, what are you doing? I thought the door was locked. And she goes, yeah, I unlocked it. And she shows me a little like tool you can use to pop the lock open. And I was like, what are you doing? She goes, I want to shower with you. I was like, is that really a good idea right now with your parents asleep two floors above us? Like, listen, I know someone in the comments going to be like, oh, L. Riz, bro. Like, nah, dude, I'm not trying to get fucking my head chopped off by her dad. Her dad was the type of dude where if he caught us doing anything, he'd probably, like, eat my soul, gouge my eyes out, and then feed me to a pack of hungry wolves. Like, this dude was a savage, so I was not really in the mood to deal with that. But after a couple of seconds of looking at her and talking to her, I kind of started thinking with the part of my brain that's not really more focused on logic and more focused on, like attraction so i was like yeah you know what what's a five minute shower gonna do it won't hurt anyone right so she jumps in the shower with me and guess what a couple minutes later we hear a knock on the door literally like two minutes after she hops in with me we hear a knock on the door of the bathroom and i hear her dad's voice and he goes hey anyone in there and i go to yell yeah it's just me i'm taking a shower but then she yells at the same time so we end up yelling at the same exact time, giving up both of our fucking locations to this dude, just pretty much admitting that we're both in the bathroom together with the door locked and the shower going. It was a fucking nightmare. After we both said, yeah, it's me, her dad starts freaking out and opens the door and starts screaming at us to jump out of there right now. And we're both, keep in mind, naked, so it's extra awkward, and I'm trying to like cover myself while he's yelling at me. And he's like, Austin, I trusted you. I fucking trusted you with everything. My daughter. And you fucking do this. He was acting like I murdered somebody, dude. He should be thanking me. I was saving him gallons and gallons of water by showering with another person, okay? We were conserving water. There was nothing wrong with that. I'm just fucking kidding. But, like, for real, he was really mad at me. And, yeah, he continued to yell at me. And uh, I got dressed while he was yelling at me. And so did my girlfriend. And then he goes, what would you guys do, huh? What were you doing? And I said the truth. I was like, we didn't do anything. We were literally just taking a shower. And that was the full truth. Like, we were only in there for like two minutes before he came in there. So we weren't doing anything besides just cleaning ourselves. That was it, right? But uh, he didn't believe it. He's like, nah, bullshit. You probably been in there for 30 minutes. I'm like, nah, man, I swear. Like, I literally just got in there. Like, we just started showering. He's like, yeah, okay. And then after I get dressed, he grabs me by my neck, like the back of my neck, and escorts me up the stairs. Meanwhile, while well telling me, that I should never come back here again, and if I do, he's gonna beat my ass. And my girlfriend's following behind us, yelling at him to stop. And we get up the stairs, and guess who's there waiting for us? Her mom. Of course. Both of them had to catch us. Her mom's sitting there at the top of the stairs in a chair, and she's like, what's happening? And uh, her dad told the mom everything, and uh, now both her parents were yelling at me, calling me a scumbag. And uh, her dad kicks me out of the house two minutes later. There was so much yelling going on and so much just screaming and bad words being thrown around at me. I can't even remember all them. But anyway, her dad kicks me out of the house, slams the door, locks it behind me. And uh, I'm outside now with wet hair. Pretty much my whole body's still wet. I have clothes on, but I didn't really dry off. So I'm still wet under my clothes. My clothes are getting wet. And uh, I have no shoes on. He kicked me out before I could grab my shoes from the basement. So I was very much cold. And uh, yeah, I got in the car and went home. But it was a very much cold, wet, embarrassing drive home. And uh, the whole time I was just thinking, holy shit, that relationship's probably going to be over soon because her parents now hate me and probably want me gone forever. Uh, but I got home after that, texted my girlfriend that I got home. She texted back apologizing for what happened. I told her it wasn't her fault and uh, just, you know, went to bed pretty much. Now, there's kind of a happy ending. So for about a month, her dad wanted nothing to do with me. Same with her mom. But about a month and a half later, they kind of came around again and forgave me. Don't get me wrong, they were even stricter now about us hanging out. But they weren't calling me bad words anymore and yelling at me and, you know, threatening to beat my ass if I ever came back. So that was good. And uh, her dad realized that I wasn't a total piece of shit like he thought I was. So that's good. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Moral of this story is, 
you probably just shouldn't do what I did in this story time unless you own your own house and you're both adults with no one to answer to. Because if you live in someone's house who you have to answer to and you break the rules, you tend to get yourself in some trouble. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later. Peace.